What's going on, guys? Lark here again from Wellington. Beautiful sunny day outside, but we're talking about Dash. So quick shout out to everyone, as always, who has been hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel, guys. Absolutely love it, so thank you so much for your support. Now today, I really want to talk about Dash and Dash Mining in particular. Now Dash is an awesome coin. I wish I had more of it. Don't have very much, but you know, I just keep keep ticking away on it, keep uh, keep piling it up. But man, Dash is a great coin. It's had great performance in the past few months, and it's going to have really, really great performance moving forward. So all the way back, um, let's say the start of July, for example, 160 bucks three months ago. Dash was only 100 bucks, so it's you know gone from 100 to 300 plus uh, in only really a few months. Of course, you know, in the crypto world, we don't always think of that as a big return. You know, oh, it didn't go up 500%. It must be crap. But uh, look, Dash is great. And Dash is really, really going to go places. Like I said, I'm very bullish on Dash. I think we're going to have a $1,000 Dash, uh, you know, coming up in the next year. So, you know, definitely, definitely going to go a long, long way on Dash. Now, if you think, wow, I, I like the sound of Dash. I want to get me some of that. That sounds really good. Well, it's not so easy to get anymore. And that's uh, one disconcerting thing about Dash. Now, there's a lot of Dash left to be mined. A hell of a lot of Dash left to be mined. And people are mining that Dash. However, it's not so easy anymore. So buyer beware. Buyer beware. Dash mining is a bit tricky. Why? Because very recently, a lot of really high-powered ASIC miners have hit the market. Now, I'm a big Genesis mining fan. I love cloud mining. I think it's easy and the payout's really quick. So that's great. However, I think everybody was caught with their pants down when all these new machines came out. I bought my cloud mining contract back here in uh, July. Well, let's say uh, it was around the start of July here. Somewhere there. It's about 348,000 uh, difficulty level. Now, I spent about 500 bucks, bought about 80 mega hashes. Today, that 80 mega hashes is going to get me 0.93 dash after one year. So it's a two-year contract. I would be pretty surprised at this point if I actually made my money back on that contract. Now, the past month, the payouts have been pretty decent. Pretty decent. But I'd be pretty surprised if I made my money back on that dash contract. You know, so... Uh, and this is due to that technology change, guys. And this is one thing with the crypto world, especially if you're mining, you know, it's uh, very volatile, especially for newer currencies like Dash. You know, Bitcoin, at least, is a pretty well established, very, very highly competitive market. Dash was really just waiting for something like this to happen. So and it did happen. It did happen. Now, I think that Genesis Mining will bring back those uh contracts in the future and that when they do they'll be very competitive they're gonna have to be because the machines that exist are super competitive so let's have a look at them currently there's four big providers so by cal miner big name in dash mining they've been doing it for a long time they are saying selling their by cal miner giant plus 2000 mega hashes not bad not bad you may say. Uh, this is the only one that's available now. If you want to buy a BuyCal Miner, you can go buy one today. They're $3,000. $3,000 for a BuyCal Giant Miner. You might say, well, okay, that's right. You know, Dash is like $300 a coin, so maybe that's really, really good. Well, let's look at the numbers. Went over here to Coin Wars, so we have a, a 2,000 mega hash machine, 430 watts power. Now I'm putting in a pretty high power cost. Most of you guys won't have power that that's ex that is that expensive. In New Zealand, we do, so that's what I put in. And of course, the hardware is three thousand dollars. So the return on investment, days to break even, assuming that nothing changes with this difficulty. Remember, let's go back to this current difficulty levels, guys. Two point three one million. So since I bought my uh, my sweet cloud mining contract, the difficulty's gone up by two million. Two million. And why have we seen this gigantic spike? It's because everyone's finally getting their deliveries. The bitmains are coming in. The InnoSilicons are coming in. People are getting their machines. And they're all putting them online. And difficulty is just soaring through the roof, guys. 
So keep an eye out. So 438 days, 438 days to break even on this one. And to be honest, with this ASIC miner, I don't think you'll ever get your money back. To be honest, that's 438 days today. Today, guys, that's going to change a lot. I mean, you're only going to get uh, 11 dash annually for that. And I think that's probably going to have really, really soon. You'll probably get maybe four or five dash. Now, of course, dash is definitely going to go to the moon. So maybe those four or five dash will be worth it. You know, that'll be four or five grand in a year's time. But really, the Baikal miner is not the best investment. When they came out with this, they were asking eight grand, eight grand for the Baikal miner. The week after Bitmain came out and destroyed the market, destroyed the, destroyed the market. It was crazy. So. That number of Dash coins mineable right now with this machine is going to drop significantly. We are going to see the difficulty just absolutely explode even more on Dash because so many more of these machines are going to be delivered in the next like three months. So they're just going to explode, explode, explode. That difficulty is going to like 10 million really soon, guys. I'm telling you. And at that level, you're only going to get, you know, where is it here? You're only going to get like three Dash for your machine running all the time. Sucking up your electricity bills. Not cool. Bitmain. Bitmain is selling a 15 giga hash machine for $1,450. Now, I unfortunately did not have the money for this when they first came out. They sold out almost instantaneously. The second batch sold out in like eight minutes. The third batch sold out within like an hour. And this batch isn't even available yet. You can't even buy it right now. You know, if you do want to buy one of these miners, definitely do sign up for uh, notifications from Bitmain on Twitter. That's how they communicate with people. Deal with it. Twitter's a thing. Go sign up if you're not already signed up already and follow Bitmain if you want to get one of these. It's the only way you're ever going to get one. They announce when and where the sales are going to happen. So please do keep an eye out there if that is something you want to get involved in. Now, let's look at the ROI on this one. So, 15,000 mega hashes, right? Or 15 giga hashes, if you will. 1,200 watts power, so it takes a lot more power than the Baikal miner. And of course, $1,450. So 22.85 days return on investment in this one. That is really, really good, guys. Really, really good. So you can look down here. It's, it's going to be producing 85 dash a year, this machine. 85 dash a year. You know, if you, ha if you had it in your hands today, wow. You'd have some really good profitability on that. And again, these numbers are just going to change so, so much because that difficulty is going to absolutely skyrocket. But let's say we see an increase up to 10 million. You're still getting 20 dash, which is still an amazing return on investment for the Bitmain miner. So it'll be interesting to see where the difficulty level stops at. You know, we've seen such a spike in the past few days. I mean, 10 million might even be a massive underestimate. So, you know, just, you know, really, guys, keep that in mind with this i know everyone wants to get involved i want to get involved but you know it's a really risky investment right now because it doesn't ship until november you won't have it until like the first week of december look at what's happened to the difficulty in just three months guys in two months it's absolutely skyrocketed absolutely skyrocketed making anyone who bought the buy cal miner it's obsolete you'll never get your money back especially if you bought it at eight thousand dollars when it first came out a lot of people did you're not getting your money back guys i'm sorry just like me and Genesis, my Genesis uh, contract, that money's gone. And it's not that they are offering a bad product. By Cal Miner was offering a good product. Genesis was offering a good product. Companies came out and offered stuff that was way, way better. It happens. It's it's tech, guys. It's it's always going to happen. This kind of stuff. So it's definitely you gotta gotta really think before you spend your hard-earned bucks on this stuff. Inno Silicon. They have got the Dash Master. The Dash Master. So I only put this in as the 30.2 on uh, normal mode. You can overclock up to 38 giga hash. Holy cow. Uh, new batch is coming soon now. For some reason, they had these down to like $4,500 or something for uh, a few weeks, and they're back up to 10 grand. They're back up to 10 grand, so the price has gone back up on these guys. Um, let me see if they still have a minimum order. No, they don't even have that in. Usually they have a minimum order in too. Like you have to order five of them or something like that. Now, there were a lot of people who ordered five of these, spent $50,000. Man, 
money makes money it really does if you were able to afford these the, the first batch when they came out you've already got them they are in your house mining right now and if that was the case you would be making fifty thousand dollars per year so one of these machines would pay for itself the other four would just deliver profit just deliver profit absolutely crazy guys absolutely crazy now this is a, a longer return on investment than bitmain substantially longer actually about twice as long that is because the hardware is so much more expensive so much more expensive than bitmain so that is something to keep in mind 10 grand is a uh, nothing to laugh about by any means that's a heck of a lot of money for uh, one one asic miner you know i can really justify spending like 1500 2000 dollars yeah it's a decent amount of money but wow 10 grand that's that's a lot the roi looks really really good right now fifty thousand dollars worth of dash and again dash is going to go up dash is going to go up substantially but you're not going to get that many dash coins for your money that's something to keep in mind. Only the people who have them today in their hands will get anywhere near, you know, 170 dash, and they won't get that much because the difficulty is going to increase so so much. If difficulty were to increase four times, let's just let's just have a look here for for example. So, what's going on here? Oh, so that doesn't want to let me do that. That's okay. So anyway, it would be approximately four times less. So you're probably going to end up with 40 or 50 dash. But again, hey, if that dash coin reaches $1,000, you're still making the same ROI. So, you know, it's a really, really great coin to be mining, guys. And the last one here is uh, IB Link. They've got an 11 giga hash dash miner out of stock. Sold out really, really quickly, this one. Of course it did. Why wouldn't it? You know, I would have, I, if I had had the extra five grand sitting around, I probably would have got one of those because they're shipping now. As of the time of this video, they're in the mail shipping to people. And I like that they actually have a maximum units per order. Because, man, it just sucks. The reason, like, Bitmain sells out, like, instantaneously is people coming in by, like, 50. They come in by 100 at a time. Right? Because, again, money makes money, guys. If you have enough money to buy 50 uh, Dash Miners, pfft crazy license to print money literally they're money machines i remember telling my mom about it. I was like, mom they made machines that make money now what yeah they really have money machines these are what these are guys i understand why they're so popular and so let's look at the profitability of this one so four thousand eight hundred eighty eight dollars for the machine eleven thousand mega hashes 810 watts so 104 day return on investment for this guy so this one's got the longest well we're not even talking about the Baikal miner because it's completely just ridiculous. Totally blown out of the water by the new tech guys. So this has got a 104 day return on investment. You will end up with a 62 dash coin after a year. Not super awesome because again that, that is going to go up. You know you probably end up with eh, th if you got it in the mail this week you'd probably end up with about 30 dash coin by this time next year. So not bad, especially if those dash coins go to a thousand dollars. Guys, gotta hold on to those dash coins because they're gonna be awesome. This is really, really gonna go up, guys. It's really, really gonna go up a lot. I'm looking forward personally to either trying trying to get a bit main because I think it's probably one of the it's got the best um, ROI. You know, only 22 days for that cheap price, good ROI. But you gotta wait until November to get it. I don't know if I if I have the fourteen fifty US uh, plus shipping plus uh, you know power supply units, so it's probably gonna be about sixteen fifty US. In the event that I have that money sitting around um, next time they have a sale out, I'll strongly consider getting one to be honest, because even with a difficulty spike, you know, massively massively skyward, well, it'd be an eighty day re return on investment. That's not bad either. Even if it's a hundred day return on investment. That's still not bad because it's still doing pretty okay. And again, the price of Dash is only going to go up, 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 up. That being said, I would really like Genesis Mining to bring back some pretty competitive Dash contracts too. But, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see about that. Just going to have to wait and see. Anyway, guys, let me know. Did you Were you lucky enough to get one of these awesome Dash Miners? Wow. Did you get a Bitmain? Did you get an InnoSilicon? Alberto, I know you got an IB Link, man. That's pretty awesome too. Hope it comes really, really soon for you, man, so you can start making that money. Make that money, guys. It's awesome. Money boxes. I love them. I love them. Can't wait for my Litecoin miner to arrive. That's going to be an exciting day. Anyway, guys, that is all from the Crypto Lark. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.